I imagine there's a lot to say if you could. There's a lot you'd like to say? Not allowed. Not allowed. Not allowed. Sorry. Parents Ken and Joan Briarton Johnson at the Malibu courthouse fighting for their daughter Sabrina. The girl was six when they gave her over-the-counter children's Motrin for a fever. Their lawsuit claims the Motrin caused an allergic reaction, which left her covered with rashes and sores and legally blind. The judge issued a gag order, but lawyers provided an earlier interview with Sabrina's mother. I had no choice but to push forward because her life was so bad. In his opening statement, an attorney for Sabrina Briarton Johnston accused the manufacturer of Motrin, McNeil Pharmaceuticals, a division of the giant Johnson & Johnson, of intentionally withholding information about the severity of potential side effects in order to make more money. But attorneys for the drug maker said while there are warnings on the label of rashes and other complications, there's no evidence Motrin caused Sabrina's problems. The children's Motrin is a safe and effective medicine. It's been approved by the FDA and available on the market for over 20 years, or nearly 20 years. This, the first of a dozen similar lawsuits to come to court with others pending in five more states, all taking on Johnson & Johnson, worth some $45 billion. Boiled salted water. Sabrina, now 11, seen here at home, was not in court, but is expected to testify during a six-week-long trial. Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.